Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install the latest version of Kali Linux version 2024.3 on VMware. Now the first thing you're going to do is download VMware and to do that, head to your browser. VMware is now part of Broadcom so to download we have to register on Broadcom. Now I'll provide this link in the video description. After registering you can log in. Now after logging, click on the link in the video description to take you to this page for VMware Workstation Pro on Broadcom. Now you can see VMware Workstation Pro for Windows which is what we are going to click on. So click on VMware Workstation Pro for Windows for personal use and then download the latest release by clicking on it. Click on I agree to terms and then you can see the download button by the right here, click on it and it should start downloading. While this is downloading, we also have to download our Kali Linux installation file. So let's open a new tab and then head to kali.org. Now on kali.org, click on download right here. And over here we can see installer images, which is what we are going to click on. And then we can download Kali Linux 64-bit installer right here. So we just click on it and it should start downloading. After downloading Kali Linux installer image and VMware, you can close our browser and then open our download folder. So this is our Kali Linux installer file and this is VMware. Now let's install VMware, so double click on it. After installing VMware, we can click on finish. Now we can run VMware Workstation Pro. So VMware Workstation Pro is completely free for personal use. So we can now create a new virtual machine. Let's continue with typical next. We're going to go with installer disk image file and then click on browse. Select our Kali Linux 2024.3 installer file we downloaded. Open. Next. Now set the guest operating system to Linux and set the version to Ubuntu 64 bit and then next. Now we can change the virtual machine name to whatever we want. I'm just going to call it Kali Linux 24.3 and then set the location of your virtual machine. Now you can set it to install wherever you want but in my case I'm going to set it to my SSD. And then I'm just going to set it to a folder called Kali in my SSD. And then OK. But you can install wherever you want. Next. And then set the maximum disk size. I'm going to give it around 100 gigabytes. Next. Click on Customize Hardware. Now we can set our processor cores and we can also set the RAM. So under Memory, this is your RAM. You can increase to whatever you want. I'm going to give it around 6 gigs of RAM. Now you shouldn't allocate more than 40% of your PC resources to your virtual machine else it will slow down your host machine. Next we go to processor. I have one processor and I'm going to give it 3 cores since I can run up to 8. And then we can click on close. Click on finish. Now click on play to power on our virtual machine. Select a language for the installation and continue. Set your country and set your keyboard layout to continue. Let's leave the host name as it is, continue. Leave the domain name empty unless you have something to put there, continue. Now enter a name for this user. Continue. Username password continue set your time zone continue now for the partitioning method we are going with guided use entire disk continue and you can see the disk we allocated earlier around 100 gig continue all files in one partition continue Finish partitioning and write changes to disk. Continue. Select yes to allow write changes to disk and then continue. 
and it should start installing the base system. And here you can select a desktop environment. Now we are going with Xface, but you can go with GNOME or KDE Plasma, whichever you prefer. So we are just going to continue. And the installation is complete. Now select yes to install Grub Bootloader and continue. Select Dev SDE right here and then continue. And we are done. Now click on continue to reboot. Now we can log in with our username and password. So basically, this is how to install the latest version of Kali Linux version 2024.3 on VMware. If this video was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.